a world record here in London at the Olympic Games from the greatest middle distance runner we've seen for a very long time. It's David Radisha. 140.91 is shown on the clock. I needed to win that Olympic and the, the best way after I sat down, I did all my drawing and becoming and going into such a, a big uh, event whereby there is no room for mistakes. This is one of the greatest runs we've seen in Olympic history. He's retained his title. He was a championship runner, he was a world record holder, he had everything in place and everything went well. It's David Radisha, 140.91. He was prepared mentally. That was absolutely incredible. Top form, top of his game. He had everything in place when he came to London. It's astonishing, absolutely astonishing. He promised it and he delivered it. I also admire even sometimes, I do watch myself and uh, it's sometimes funny if you watch yourself running but this is one of the races that I still watch and uh, I just remember everything and uh, you know it's just as fresh as David Lekuta Rudisha, 800 meters world record holder, is a man who was brought up and nurtured by Brother Com O'Connell. Brother Com is a native of Melo Island, who joined St. Patrick's as a teacher in 1976 and became the head teacher in 1986. But it is his role in athletics that he is most famous for. Brother Com has shaped world beaters, majority of them being former students at St. Patrick's in Eton. Greatest of them all is 800 meters king David Lekuta Rudisha. Fourth place, John Taylor in fourth place, and a position to go for the medal. America wins, but it's senior changing, West to Germany. Inspired by what his father did during the 1968 Mexico Olympics, young David Rudisha had his own dreams to chase. They're 30, 40 yards in front. Kenya next, West Germany next, Pearl is next, and Great Britain, I don't think, will make it unless the others have gone too far too soon. Uh, knowing that my father was an athlete uh, really uh, influenced uh, you know, uh, my life in a certain way that uh, I wanted uh, also to be like my father. And that's always the dream of uh, most of the young, young, uh, you know, uh, young, I can say young boys, and sometimes, uh, you know, young people. They want to do something or imitate uh, their role models. And uh, my father was uh, like my role model. During the 2004 Athletics Provision Championship was slotted for Camarin Stadium, young David Rudisha was tasked with the responsibilities of representing Transmara, and it is during that period that he first saw a man who later transformed his life. I saw a white man uh, just walking along uh, the, the, the school uh, 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 ground. And uh, when I was going through the uh, school compound, I saw so many trees planted by famous Kenyan athletes. And uh, I started uh, making inquiries uh, from, you know, the 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 student from the from from St. Patrick's, and uh, I knew that there's a man behind the success of athletes in uh, El Gayo Maracuete, uh, specifically uh, in St. Patrick's. And uh, I didn't uh, get a chance uh, to meet him in person, but uh, I knew that, uh, and I had some information that normally attends uh, this uh, sporting event, and uh, he also sent the, uh, the coaches that he works together. And uh, if you a performance is good, you likely might get a chance to, to, to be invited to his uh, training camp. Our meeting was a little bit accidental. In 19, uh, 2004, 
the primary school provincial championships for Riff Valley were held here in Cameron Stadium. And David came to represent Transmara. He's from Kilgoris. And uh, they came with their mattresses and they slept in one of the classrooms. And I think David saw me walking around the compound, so he was asking, you know, as a shy class eight, who's this Mzungu? This guy was a rather small Mzungu going around the compound, and he was told, oh, that's his brother Colum. And uh, of course, he was struck a little bit, but yeah, because obviously my name had been around. And uh, he saw also the trees planted on the compound by various athletes, including Wilson Kipketer, whom he would succeed as the world record holder. Uh, so, he, I saw him running in Cameroon that day. He was running the 200. I think he came fourth or fifth in the final. Uh, other than his height, he was quite tall for his age. Uh, there wasn't much more that would catch your attention. But I, I said, I kind of just remember him. A Maasai, tall. And uh, then, uh, sometime after, I saw him running in Kitale. And I said, this young man, I, we'll, I'll see, I'll see. I'll, so I, I, we chatted to him and we invited him to our training camp and he came. When I asked him first, uh, well, what is your name? Oh, David Rudisha. And I said, there's only one other Rudisha I ever heard of. Daniel Rudisha. Are you related? He said, yeah, he's my father. I, and I said, okay. The genes are right. <laughs> Whether everything else is all right, I don't know, but the genes are right. 5th April 2005. David Rudisha, just 16 years old, walks to St. Patrick's in Iten. A shy boy who was destined to star. It was so exciting to, 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 to be invited to a well-known camp uh, that I used to see in the media when I was young. And I uh, you can see some of the athletes uh, who came from uh, the same school with their names and to meet them it was so exciting. And uh, I knew that uh, uh, this was a breakthrough and I'm in uh, one of the best places. And uh, what is just remaining is uh, to do my best and uh, to see if also that my talent is there and I am in the place, uh, the best uh, play ground. So it was just a matter of time and patience. They wasted no time. 6th April 2005, David Rudisha's training together with others officially begins. Rudisha was a 400 meters young athlete during that time. 10th April, 2005, David Rudisha on this actual day got his first pair of running shoes. It's better to be born with the right size feet when you come to Cullum's camp. <laughs> good. Rudisha, we hope you will be as good as your dad in 400. Have you all registered? Huh? You want eight or fifteen? A time trial was cooking, and Rudisha was shifted from his usual 400 meters to 800 meters race. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. Who is not here? I had no option but uh, to, to 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 run the 800 because it was the shortest distance. So um, I was a little bit hesitant to to join. So uh, because I was. Uh, Somehow, you know, not very comfortable, you know, running an event that I've never tried it before. Oh, David, this is good. I knew that I was good in 400, but I was not sure how uh, the, the, the 800 will go. But uh, toward the end, I, I wanted just to sneak somehow. And uh, as they were taking the names, they found that uh, in the list of the 800 and below, 800 meters and below, I was not present, so they had the number. And the coach asked uh, Amos Rono, who was one of the coaches, uh, there is somebody, there is one person is missing in the list. Well, the numbers, so there's one person. 
and I was just standing aside. So I had to raise my hand and I had no option but to join. This is part of the intervals and it is a trial. It was uh, very exciting because uh, we started the race with no experience. So I was just running, you know, like uh, I was just flowing, following the rhythm, you know, with the others just being in the group. Uh, until toward the last uh, uh, 100, 150 meters is when I, I realized, well, I still have some energy. decided to to release the gas and uh, definitely um, I won that race and it was impressive because I ran my first 800 uh, in 150. Hey, very good, Rudisha. 150. 150. At the end of the three weeks 2005 April's training camp, Brother Com gave young Rudisha and the team a reality talk. I'm going to make a special request to you and give you a special piece of advice. Decisions that you make now about your life as an athlete may affect how successful you're going to be. Any decision that you make, think about it carefully before you make it. Many of our young athletes never make it to senior level. We have maybe 50 athletes here. Only about 10 of you might become successful seniors. It is not how good your legs are. It is how good your head is. Everybody will want you and everybody will try, try, try to look for your attention when you're winning, when you're a winner. But the day you lose, Bye bye. They don't want to see you anymore. The day you start losing, they don't want to see you. So be careful about that in athletics. Because some days you're going to win, some days you're going to lose. For many of you, maybe 2008, 2012, you might even be Olympians. Where will you be in 2012? That's a big question for you not to answer. David Rudisha had been given a test of some good training. And after that camp, he went home and simply could not stay away. You could see that he just wanted a system and a structure to train him because he went back to Kilgore's, checked out of his school, packed his box, and knocked at my door here and said, I'm here, I'm staying. This is the place I want to be. So I said, yeah, yeah, that's a bit of a, uh, a shock <laughs> coming back. This is a bit of a surprise. So we got him into school. And for the next four years, from one to from four, he never went home. He would go to school, stay here with me during the holidays, until he was absolutely determined he was going to make it. I wanted uh, to do uh, much, much better. I wanted to improve in my uh, training and, of course, uh, my races, because I was preparing also for some championships that were uh, ahead, like the World Youth uh, Championships and, uh, and the World Junior the following year in 2006. So I needed uh, actually uh, a good and uh, a good support for training to be able to manage. The matrix of transformation. Do you miss your family? Yeah, I miss, but uh, you know, since uh, some time we communicate, my dream is to make the Olympic, but uh, 
it is not granted. <laughs> it is a must. So it is just a, a matter of play, praying God and working hard and to see that we achieve the best. After an impressive show and training, David Rudisha made it to the Wilder Junior Championships team that was held in Beijing. And he won his race to become the world junior champion. You have a passport? Ah, birth passport. certificate. Birth certificate. Oh. 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 That's all. You go up. Nafkiri. Nafkiri. You go up. Before Friday. You go up. You go up. You go up. You go up. Ah, yeah. <laughs> but you make it. Will you make it? Yeah. The first time actually I represented uh, Kenya was... Uh, in 2005 uh, uh, East Africa uh, Youth Championships in Arusha and uh, I was able to win uh, a silver medal in 400 meters I ran I think uh, 48 seconds in 400 uh, on a Maram truck uh, and uh, silver again in the midlay relay at that time we used to call midlay relay whereby the first run uh, takes the, uh, the first uh, 100 meters, the second one ran the 200, and I was the third one who ran 300 meters, and then there was the fourth one uh, who did the 400 meters. So uh, I came back with uh, two silver, and that's why that's the first time I represented Kenya. Uh, and the following year was, uh, was the, uh, of course, the, um, the world junior in, in Beijing. Others thought that that would have been the end of Brother Combs and David Rudisha's partnership. But in 2007, the two decided to work together. Rudisha was now transitioning to the senior team. If everything is working well for you, so why change? And uh, we were working very well with Brother Colm, and I could see that my future was coming was uh, was you know uh, improving in uh, athletic and my future was bright and uh, this is because brother Colm was the one who really discovered my real talent and uh, he decided to support me yeah, in fact uh, he, he was very close he was very close and we worked together and i believed in his uh, you know uh, in his training and i believe in him and December 28th 2007 a day that marked the beginning of two months of Kenya's darkest hour. Violence that would see all that we had worked so hard to achieve as a country in over 40 years go down in ashes. Lives were lost. Families were torn apart. As many were left homeless, helpless and most orphaned. 2008 had a fair share of challenges not only for Rudisha but also for Kenya. Just fresh from the post-election violence, the king had to deliver for a nation that was burning. When it comes to dominance of a particular sport on the international stage, few nations can match the recent success of Kenya. After a period of unprecedented political unrest and bloodshed, that quest for Olympic gold carries added meaning. But sadly for Rudisha, he had his own trouble. Just two weeks before the 2008 National Olympics trials. And with that, he missed the Olympics. I got an injury a few weeks ago. Yeah, in the calf muscles in the, my left leg. I just ran the first 200, and then the muscle too. Do you still hope to make any Yeah, uh, you know, we are just praying for the, you know, Olympic and it is tough, but uh, just praying that we will do our best if we will be there. Rudisha is still young. The doctor advised that um, if he continues running in that situation, he may injure himself, he may damage his uh, tendon completely. And uh, it's better we keep him off the Olympics. He didn't expect that to happen. I got uh, injured in the, one of the last races before I came for the trials. And that was in... Uh, it, 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 it was in, uh, in, 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 in Ostrava, and uh, I, 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 I pulled my, uh, my, my Achilles, 
So when I came back, it was not that easy. It was tough, and uh, we try to look for, uh, you know, the medical attention. And of course, uh, we also rely on uh, doctors' uh, advice that if I keep on training and uh, competing with the same problem, it might also uh, uh, damage the, the problem more, and uh, that might also uh, uh, affect my future training and my future competition. It is not only just a physical fitness and an injury free, but it's also a mental focus that you have to think about. Okay. You're still young, you're still somebody who, who has plenty of time, and really next year is what we are looking at. Good, don't stand up too quick. I'm okay, you're not. 